What's up everybody? My name is Pastor Pete. I'm here with you again for another uh, episode of a Heroes of the Faith, right? The Heroes of the Faith series for our Sunday shorts. So I don't know about you guys, but I think one of the worst experiences we can have is abandonment. Think about your friends, right? Have you ever found out about that super cool thing that all your friends got together and did and you heard about it after it happened, right? They went and did this thing and and somehow, either intentionally or not intentionally, you weren't invited. You would have loved to be invited, to have been invited. You would have loved to join, um, but you didn't, right? You got left behind. It's a terrible feeling. It's happened to me a few times and it just feels awful. You just feel like you feel left out, right? You feel left behind. Um, in some ways abandoned, right? It feels like rejection. Like the people who care about you, who you care about so much, maybe don't feel the same about you, at least on that particular night. Have you ever felt abandoned, right? Forgotten about? If you have, then you have something in common with today's hero. So today's hero is someone who knew the feeling of abandonment so well. But we're going to see that even though the world may abandon you, that people might give up on you, God will never leave you, and his Holy Spirit will never give up on you. So who are we talking about? I'm talking about a man named Lemuel Haynes. Yep, so Lemuel Haynes. It's a really interesting name. I really love it. And I almost guarantee that none of you have heard about him. If you have, that's awesome. Let me hear about it. I want to know. Uh, but probably not many of us have. I didn't hear about Lemuel Haynes. Didn't know he existed until about five months ago. I was at a conference and I heard something about him. So Lemuel Haynes was a man born in West Hartford, Connecticut on July 18th, 1753. This is a long time ago, right? This is before the United States even started. His mother was a Scottish immigrant who was an indentured servant. Right? This idea of being an indentured servant means that you're not quite a slave, but you work for someone, right? you work for a master um, without pay. Right? They don't pay you to do that. They decide how long you work for, but eventually they let you go. Right? This is the, the life of an indentured servant. So Lemuel's mom was an indentured servant from, from Scotland. His dad was an enslaved African-American man who lived and served on a plantation, right? So instead of indentured servant, his dad was a slave. Um, And when he was a toddler, Lemuel's parents abandoned him. They left him. Um, And he also, like his mom, entered into a life of being an indentured servant in Granville, Massachusetts. Until he was, so from the time he was a, a, ch- a kid, right? A little, a little toddler until he was 21 years old. He was an indentured servant, right? This is his life. This is the life he was born into. This is the life that his parents left him for. Can you imagine that? Growing up, knowing that your parents left you, right? Knowing that they didn't want you. Um, obviously, they had enough trouble of their own, but still, they chose not to take care of him. But not only that, being an indentured servant, right? Your whole growing up, so everybody watching this, everyone that's a part of the Bethel, um, Bethel youth group, you're, you'd still be in this time, right? Like your age, Lemuel is still an indentured servant. Until the time he was 21, that's when he was released. So it's just an unbelievable thing. Okay, but that's not the end of the story. So after being released from being an indentured servant, Lemuel joined the local militia, right? This this local um, kind of military group, right? And he fought against the British in the Revolutionary War. He was even a part of the famous Green Mountain Boys. If you don't know much about the Green Mountain Boys, look them up. It's kind of a cool story. But even even though Lemuel was was a Revolutionary War hero, His true love was teaching and preaching from the Bible. He was a very talented speaker. And people knew that from the time he was really young. 
and he deeply loved theology. So after studying the biblical languages like Greek, um, or Hebrew, and getting training from different pastors, he was able to preach and took a position as being a pastor at the Congregational Church of Middle Granville. And this made him the first African-American minister of an all-white congregation. Right? And this is really, really significant because slavery Slavery in the U.S. wasn't even done away with until 1865, right, during the Civil War. It was the 13th Amendment. But here was Lemuel, a black man, pastoring an all-white church almost 100 years before that. It's just incredible, the things that God can do, even in the midst of, of really awful things like slavery. So in, 18, in 7, I'm sorry, 1785, he became the first ordained African-American minister. Right? This is an amazing, amazing thing. And then he got married and had 10 kids. He had a huge family. He was a busy guy. But he spent the rest of his life pastoring at various churches. Right? And Lemuel was known um, for his really, really deep convictions, his really deep theology, um, and for speaking out against African-American slavery and oppression. And also speaking on interracial harmony, right? And liberty and justice. He was known for this. This is what he did. I would encourage you to look up Lemuel Haynes. I would encourage you to, to find out more about his life. Um, to read what he wrote. Uh, read some of his messages, right? They're really, really incredible. I need to do more, more research myself. But Lemuel lived a life um, well lived, right? He, he lived a really full life um, for the name of Jesus. So why does this matter, right? Well, I think we go back to this idea of being abandoned, right? And Lemuel Haynes, more than a lot of us, really deeply understood what it meant to be abandoned, to be left behind, forgotten about. Um, but his life shouts the reality that even though we may be abandoned and the odds might be against us, God still holds you. Jesus experienced abandonment and loneliness, right? Jesus went all the way to the cross to suffer and to die so that you'd never have to be left abandoned again. Right? God is with you. Thanks for watching.